Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Today we have a new lesson for second secondary grade, second semester, English subject, 4A listening, speaking, writing, Traveler 4. This lesson is prepared by Mr. Muhammad al Bihari and presented by Muhammad al Athameen. Today we will practice listening for specific information through a multiple matching exercise. Then we will practice speaking for giving advice. After that, we will practice writing letters for giving advice. Warm up. What is the strangest dream you have ever had? Do you have strange dreams? Of course, I think that you have a strange dream. But what is the strangest dream you have ever had? In your opinion, how important are dreams? Do you think that important? Do you think that dreams are important or unimportant? To what extent that they are important? Do you think that they mean and or can reveal something about? A person's past, present, or future? Now, you will hear five different people giving their views on dreams. Choose from the list A to F the statement that each speaker would most agree with. Use the letters only once. There is one extra letter which you don't need to use. So let's read the statements. A. Dreams can reveal hidden parts of people's personalities. B. Dreams are mainly the result of ordinary exper experiences. C. Scientists should study dreams to find out more about how people's minds work. D. Sometimes it is better to ignore your dreams. E. Dreams are valuable guide to how we live our lives. F. Sometimes dreams can lead to a discovery. Now, let's listen to five speakers and match them to their own letters. Speaker 1 My grandmother used to scare us all the time by saying her dreams could predict the future. I used to believe her when I was a child, but now I try not to think about dreams too much. The funny part is, sometimes I think I have dreams that predict the future too. I remember once I had a very vivid, disturbing dream about some people playing in a river. There was a small waterfall close to them. Suddenly, a great burst of water came down the waterfall and swept them away. The next day, I saw on the news that several people had been killed in a river in a flood. Still, I think the best thing is to forget dreams like that, because even if they are true, they don't tell you enough about what is going to happen. Now... What is the statement that speaker one would most agree with? Is it A, B, C, D, E, or F? Let's revise D. Sometimes it's better to ignore your dreams. Do you think that speaker one agree with D? With D? Yes, so speaker one uh, would most agree with statement D. Now, let's listen to the second speaker. Speaker 1 My grandmother used to... Speaker 2 I never used to believe that dreams had any meaning. I'm a scientist, a biologist, and I believe in what I can see and observe. But recently I had a very surprising dream. 
and I made a discovery as a result. Let me explain. In my lab, I'd been trying to find the gene that causes a heart defect in mice. I'd noticed that when some mice were born, they had really small ears. But I didn't think that was important, so I ignored it. Then, one night, I dreamt that I was at a funeral with all of my family. The strange part was, we all had very small ears. I was quite puzzled when I woke up, and I tried to figure out why I had dreamt that. A few days later, I realised that the gene that causes the small ears in the mice was also the one that caused the heart defect. Yes, now, what about speaker two? Is it A, dreams can reveal hidden parts of people's personalities? B, dreams are mainly the result of ordinary experiences? C, scientists should study dreams to find out more about how people's mind work? D, sometimes it's better to ignore your dreams? E dreams are a valuable guide to how we live our lives, or F sometimes dreams can lead to a discovery. Yes, excellent. It is F. So with speaker one, the speaker one can say the statement F or can agree with statement F. Let's continue. Speaker three. I think dreams are interesting because they tell us things about people that we can't find out any other way. We all have something that we want to hide, even from ourselves. But when we dream, those secrets are revealed. That's why I like to use dreams in my novels. For example, there's this man who has a very normal, ordinary life. He goes to work, drives his kids to school, has hobbies. There's nothing unusual about him at all. But he has dreams where he is an astronaut exploring outer space, or he is climbing Mount Everest. Through his dreams, we see he has a whole side to him that we would never guess existed. Yes. What about the third speaker? Excellent. The answer is A. Dreams can reveal hidden parts of people's personality. Let's continue with the fourth speaker. Speaker four. Once I dreamt that there was a baby bird in our garden, and it was flying around close to the house. My sister and I tried to catch it, but it would fly away, and we would spend a long time looking for it. Then we would see it again. Finally, I caught it, and I realized it didn't look at all like a normal bird. It wasn't actually alive. It was a fake. Made out of rubber or something. Then I woke up. I was confused by this dream, but I'm trying hard to figure it out because I think dreams can tell us how to live our lives. I think the bird represents someone in my life who is going to betray me, because when I caught it, I saw that the bird wasn't what it appeared to be. I wonder who it is. Yes, now 